Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Harbor Community Meeting. Today is June 30th, not 29th. Uh, it, it is June 30th here. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, end of June uh, and also end of a release cycle. Uh, so last week we released uh, the 2.3 release and uh, uh, Lin will uh, speak a bit about that. Yeah, yeah. Last week we have released to the three and uh, with a couple uh, new feature and enhancement. And uh, uh, the, the first one, declarative configuration, uh, that is also one from the community, I think. And uh, there, are, there are many requests to, uh, I mean, to, to ask if Harbor can have ability to uh can enable the configuration in the environment uh for especially for the i mean for the devops uh which can be used to, by the automation to us to set the configuration so uh that is some that is that is one item we have add in 2003 and the second uh, we have also support the ipv6 uh only uh, i think it is a single stack uh, in Harbor, uh, in Kubernetes uh, uh, environment. Uh, we have tested uh, on some sp uh, one specific uh, Kubernetes version, like 1.21 and with Calico uh, version 3.18.1. Uh, we, we, we actually do not have verified uh, all the kind of compila compilation. So uh, uh, we have uh, a here released in the release notes is, is, is one compilation that we have tested. Another important, uh, I mean, uh, uh, thing is if uh, we have upgraded the photon base, uh, base image from 2.0 to, uh, to 4.0. So uh, as a result, the PG circle uh, uh, it also upgrade to uh, 13.3 and the read is upgrade to uh, 6.13. Uh, so with that, uh, so there is a, uh, I mean, upgradation, uh, uh, upgrade uh, consideration uh, in the, in the below of this release note uh, because the, because the PG circle have a, uh, Long, uh, uh, we cannot say the, the issue. Uh, with PG Circle, we upgrade from uh, uh, line dot six. Uh, previously in Hubble two dot two, we actually have a package of the PG Circle is uh, uh, line dot six, if I remember correctly. So PG Circle upgrade from that version to uh, we thirteen three. Uh, uh, they need some, uh, I mean, uh, need some uh, uh, some uh, needed both the old uh, PG socket primary and the new version PG socket primary uh, in the same environment. So, well, we have also provided a uh, solution inside the up in the upgrade progress for Harbor. But again, we need to inform the users. So before you upgrade, uh, it, it, it is recommended to back up your DB data before doing upgrades. Okay, following is some uh, enhancement. I think uh, we have a uh, work group together with the community uh, work group. There is a performance work group. Uh, in the past months, uh, we have worked together to to have done a lot of work to improve the uh, improve the performance of Harbor uh, for concurrent request. Uh, actually, we have seen uh, some significant significant improvement uh, in this area. So hopefully, this is uh, a uh, a a good uh, improvement for the community users uh, as well as some enterprise enterprise users. Uh, we also add some uh, uh, 
a matrix improvement for job service. So you so users can monitor the uh, job queue uh, and to know how many jobs are in the queue uh, in waiting states, something like that. And uh, we have some API improvement. And uh, another thing is uh, about replic replication improvement, uh, which support the, uh, I mean, support the destination name, namespace threatening. Uh, previously, if you did not set any destination in the rep replication rule, uh, the, I mean, the director structure will be uh, changed. So now we have provided some of ability to allow users to do some configura configuration uh, at this area. And uh, we have upgraded the GoLang version and the bump up the trivi to uh, 17 to support more kind of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Java jar or uh, something archive files like that. Okay. So I think this is the major uh, features and improvement in 2003. So we, we, we current, uh, recommend the users, uh, community users to go through this release notes to know more about uh, information when you do uh, fresh install or do the upgrading from, from previous release. Awesome, thank you, Jolin. Mm. Um, I also see here a uh, where we noted this is an in, in an email I think a month or so ago that Chart Museum is scheduled to be deprecated as well um, in the future 2.4 release. But yeah, we'll we'll talk about the 2.4 release in the next community meeting, I guess, because I don't see Alex joining right now. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll talk more about that then. There's tons and tons of new features and um, really awesome enhancements to the uh, the project here in 2.3. Uh, fantastic work, everyone. And of course, thank you to all the contributors for the uh, for working on this release uh, and to all users who have given feedback and everything. It's been, uh, uh, yeah, it's been fantastic to see. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions or comments on the 2.3 release? All right, the only comment that I have is try it out. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy all the, the new enhancements. Um, Jolyn, do you want us to uh, move the, uh, the next topics to the, the next community meeting? Uh, since the uh, the people who wanted to talk about them are not here. Uh, sorry, I'm muted. Yes, I think so. Okay, sounds good then. Uh, yeah, so this is a short and sweet community meeting. Um, as always, uh, if you have any questions, hit us up on Slack or on GitHub. Happy to answer any questions. And uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll talk more about the 2.4 release in the next community meeting. Uh, and with that, thank you everyone for joining. Have a fantastic, fantastic rest of your day. Bye folks. Thank you. Bye-bye.